What's the most f ked up thing you've experienced at a night party? Y2K. Right as everyone was transitioning from the one of the countdown to happy new year my buddy flipped the main breaker to the house. Panic did ensue. My brother ate an entire tray of Aureus by himself. And later that night. He was vomiting pure black. My other brother walked in on that while half asleep. And thought he was having a nightmare. Party at my house. At midnight. A girl threw herself at her husband for a kiss so hard she put his ass through my wall. They were both too drunk to notice at the time. But when I saw it later and started asking who the hell put an ass shaped hole in my wall. And she was picking weird pieces of drywall off the back of her husband's sweater. She put it together. They were mortally embarrassed. He came over the next day and patched it good as new. See. This kind of responsible response to drunken stupidity makes it downright funny. I like this kind of story. Friend's wife slipped off the back of our hot tub and got wedged between the hot tub and the house. Almost had to call the fire department to get her out. She was so embarrassed she tore her ACL in an attempt to get herself out. Alcohol was a factor. Update. Additional info. An important detail that was left out. Her husband and redditor suggested that I provide, was that it was minus 10 out that night so we had to keep pouring warm hot tub water on her so she didn't freeze to death. Back in 1999 I went to a house party in Edinburgh. The flat was above a grass market and if you climbed onto the roof you could see all the night party below. To get onto the roof you had to climb some spiky railings. Coming down one girl slipped and a spike entered her chest nearly piercing her lung and heart. As I climbed down I also slipped and impaled my foot. Came down with a case of neuroviris. At first I thought I just drank too much. Vomiting. Then the other end started to rumble. And I knew I was in trouble. It lasts for two full days. Worst time ever. Easily my ex, GF and her friend getting into a fist fight after the friend called my ex an alcoholic. We were 16. I leaned in to kiss a hot stranger at the strike of midnight and surprisingly she went for it. But she puked in my mouth and all over my face. Projectile puke to be accurate. It was awful. FCK New Year's. Are you perhaps you not spicy enough? A girl I barely knew getting abandoned at my friend's house because her friends didn't want to deal with her. I've had it happen multiple times in my life where I end up taking care of random people but this girl went on the roof with her friends then got so hammered that she couldn't get down without help and they decided it wasn't their problem and left her. After getting her down. I spent the night holding her hair in the bathroom and making sure she made it through the night which didn't bother me too much because someone had to do it and we all know how awful it can be to go through that sort of thing. What broke my heart was her laying next to the toilet begging me not to leave her like everybody else. Paula. Goddamn it Paula. She was a friend of a friend. Invited a few people over for New Year's Eve. Her condo had a great view of where there would be fireworks. Her brother was there. Along with his boyfriend. Come midnight. Everyone's a bit trashed. Someone mentions that the third floor balcony would have a great view of the fireworks. So everyone rushes up there. Turns out. Paula. Her brother. And her brother boyfriend decided to have a threesome. I was right behind my girlfriend at the time. And she opened the door to that bedroom right in front of me. Paula was getting it from both ends. Brother and boyfriend. We watched the fireworks from the street. I um. Roll tide. I got cut one year. I asked a guy if I could see his really cool knife. He let me see it. Right on the back of my hand. Made a 3 inch gash in my hand all the way through the skin. Who the FCK does that? I was in the army at the time. And we had a massive party in some bushland near our base. This lady who had been a girlfriend of one of the guys for about a week. Over a year before. Found out about it somehow and turned up. She was a little drunk. And a lot crazy. Ended up in a psych hospital a few years later. And had driven her car through the bush and almost hit one of the guys. She was asked to leave about a dozen times. 
and then made the mistake of picking a fight with the only guy for a hundred miles in any direction who was more crazy than her. We managed to stop him from hurting the woman. But then he took out his best stabbing knife and slashed all of her tires. Punched holes in every body panel. Busted every light. And finally used the roof of her car as a trampoline for a couple of minutes. Someone vomiting into my mouth. Origin of your username? My cousin had recently broken up with my friend. Both of whom were at the party. My friend decided the best thing to do was to get drunk and go attempt suicide by laying down in a snowbank on my front lawn. He failed. It's a stupid way to try to die. Well. Friend decided to throw a night party. I helped with shopping and setting up. By 10. 30 no one had shown up. Host guzzled two bottles of champagne and locked himself in the bathroom. Doorbell rings around 11. 00 and there are a dozen people outside. More continued to show up. Proceeded to have a great party in our friend's house while he spent the night passed out in the bathtub. Naked except for a cowboy hat. Did it. Yes. I am. Now. Aware that something similar happened in a crappy millennial movie. No. Elvis Costello did not ask me for my dip recipe. Was at a night party in a small apartment several years ago. And there was a woman there who had peed her pants. And either didn't notice. Or didn't care. It was very obvious and after a while it started to smell. Too. But she was just casually laughing and talking and acting like it was no big deal. Last New Year's I went to 15 years ago. I did a backflip down a full flight of stairs. I'm typing with my fingers. So no. But did you die? Someone slit their wrist. I was a child and had no idea what I was looking at. My buddy turned the TV off with 4 seconds remaining. My college roommate and I rented a first floor apartment in a house next door to a convent. We threw a New Year's Eve party and invited musician friends to play live music that people requested. Soon the doorbell rang. And it was a group of 7 nuns that wanted to join us and listen to the music. Those nuns knew how to party. They fixed themselves some potent drinks and eventually decided to return to the next door convent. When I asked if they'd like an escort back. One nun said. Thanks. But we're within staggering distance of home. I saw a guy curl one off at a party. Up. He shat in a flower pot in front of everyone. He was drunk as FCK and kept telling girls he was an F-16 stunt pilot but my mate knows him and says he's an unemployed plumber from Hull. I was in old Sacramento one night at a bar waiting for the fireworks show with some friends. This guy got up to go get a drink and ran into the girl and spilled her drink all over her. He apologized and asked if he could get her another drink and she was just yelling at him. She walked past him over to her boyfriend and told him. He was some gangbanger or something and he and pulled out a gun and killed him. A security guard tried to stop him from leaving and the guy shot him too though I believe he lived. The cops shut down everything everyone had to leave the area they blocked off all of old town cancelled the fireworks shows. This was at like 9 or 10 o'clock so because of this couple they not only killed a guy destroying a family's life they ruined one thousands of people's night. When I was younger my family would celebrate with a couple other families in our neighborhood and would do a potluck type buffet. We brought sushi one year. And my dad got some actual wasabi for the occasion. An idiot friend of a friend bet another idiot he could eat all the wasabi in one go. Straight up ate it before anyone had a chance to try some. He ended up throwing up for an hour and my dad was. Not happy. That poor wasabi. Gone like tears in the rain was working in a bar in Tokyo back in 94 stroke 95 nigh as a barman. Two Saudis sitting by the bar and an Iranian gentleman standing behind ordering a beer. Saudis told the Iranian to FCK off and a punch up followed. All of them got chucked out. Hour later the police shows up as the Saudis were employed by the Saudi embassy and went to complain that they had been treated roughly by the bar staff bouncers. Had to spend night at the police station giving reports until 8am. The party begins. Drinking ensues. 
Devonos a young man who was built like an ogros or quickly becomes inebriated. Ravellas form into various groups. Devon takes up a prone position on the couch. One of the impromptu assemblages of people decides they want to sit down. Devon proves difficult to rouse. But eventually sits up and scoots over. A conversation begins. Hang on. Devon shouts. The party goes nearly silent. Save for the music. Hang on. Devon says again. The conversation resumes. After a few minutes. Devon bellows hang on. Once more. Someone finally asks Devon what he wants. What? Asks Devon. What do you want? The other person repeats. Hang on. Devon replies. Hang on. Hang on. The phrase becomes a joke. Other people start repeating hang on. To each other. Oh. Yeah. Devon suddenly exclaims. He then baths all over everyone seated next to him. There are screams, and some laughter, as people flee. Devon lies back down on the soiled couch. Good. I saw a toddler grab a dog's penis. I witnessed my sister attempting to kill herself by swallowing a whole bottle of Tylenol almost 30 years ago. She was supposed to be watching my sister and I while our parents were gone for the weekend. Her boyfriend was supposed to sneak over. But he chose to go to a different night party with another chick. Her friend called her up and told her about it. I called grandparents house when I thought things were going weird. It's probably nothing too crazy compared to all the other stories in here but I went to a crazy night party last year with burlesque dancers hanging from the ceiling. Acrobatics. A huge champagne glass that a lady stripped and swam in. Etc. Anyways. At midnight a bunch of confetti cannons go off and it snows confetti in every crevice of this place. I legit feel bad for whomever had to pick this stuff up after the party. Shoot my glass of champagne they handed out, from a chick who was walking around wearing a metal dress designed to hold champagne glasses, and suddenly realize it's just a glass full of champagne soaked confetti. I immediately run to the bathroom and throw up confetti for a good 2 minutes. I came back and proceed to get yelled at by my wife for missing our new year's kiss and getting too drunk. I tried to explain but nobody believed the confetti glass. I worked 9 in ER 2 straight years and that was rough. Lots of accidents. Gunshots. Stabbings. And drunks. Some young guy drove into a river and was brought out frozen hours later to be pronounced at the hospital. An Asian guy was pissed drunk and vomiting whole bean sprouts. And the usual drunks were extra hammered. Oh yeah. There were lots of sick people too. In the morning one of the doctors bought us shots. The party was at my apartment. The theme was a very Gaga New Year's and guests were expected to dress in Lady Gaga's costumes. My friends and I had been taking shots for hours while we got dressed up and ready for the evening so I ended up passing out wasted around 11pm. A weirdo guy who had a crush on me came in my room and rousted me from where I was laying on my desk in a pool of watery tequila vomit. Shaking me awake to insist that we kiss at midnight. We made out for a long time in the living room. I went to the restroom afterwards and realized the side of my face was crusted with my own throw up and he put his tongue in my mouth anyway. At a night party in college. A guy got his hand slammed in the door and lost a finger. We were taking 2CB at a house party and a girl who lived a few houses down suddenly appeared in the house all beaten up. Her eyes were swollen and she was terrified. Her boyfriend had beat her up and she'd run out of the house. She heard the noise where we were and ran in. He came to the door a couple of minutes later looking for her but was told she wasn't there. Anyone who's ever taken 2CB will know it comes and goes in waves. Most of what I remember of that night is me trying to talk to her one minute and then laughing in her face. While she moved in and out of cartoon form. She sat there for about 2 or 3 hours in the middle of all us until some relative came and got her. The next day there were more than a few of us who questioned if she was actually there or not. One of my friends licking or kissing her Great Danes balls for 27 cents. Poor dog was so damn confused. All in all wasn't that bad just horrible timing. I just recently started my divorce. Moved out etc. 
Wasn't in the mood to hang with my typical friends. Had all but deleted social media. I always got a yearly invite to a night party via PSN from a former co-worker. I figured what the hell and went that year. Party was small mostly couples I only knew the host. So I'm not really drinking but trying to make a night out of it. But these people were getting hammered. Seemingly out of nowhere one couple's arguing in the corner. Another couple goes in to try and calm things down now that couple was fighting. Host goes over. His wife joins all three couple are having an existential marriage crisis in short order. A few are screaming divorce. The host's wife was crying he never loved her. I said fck it and bounced. Listen to the ball drop carving some backwards roads that night. Not as bad as most things here but we were outside and this one guy came running out of the woods. Yelling. Arm displayed with a bottle of beer in one hand and a bottle of champagne in the other. My friend said. He's going to run right into that tree. Apostrophe. I said. Nap. He'll swerve. Apostrophe. My friend was right. The guy ran face first into the tree and knocked himself out. Paris 2000. Hostess of the party we were at tried to kill herself after she thought everyone was gone passed out. I found her. He lived. Locking everybody out by closing the sliding door so no smoke could enter the house. Guys started shouting Heil Hitler and doing the Nazi salute. His date was black. I used to hang out with older people when I was in high school. When I was 15 they were 19. I got invited to a party at a chalet. Got drunk and ended up getting up head by some random guy in an upstairs bedroom. Thankfully a friend came looking for me so it didn't last long. It's made me not want to go to house parties anymore. This just breaks my fking heart man. The year was 2011. I just turned 18 and resolved to not be a dork anymore. I managed to get myself invites to a cool kid party. Booze. Drugs. SX. I was excited and nervous but ultimately ready for something new. I'd never been to a real party before. I remember almost vomiting when I went to knock on the door I was so nervous. It opened and the girl I knew who had invited me pulled me inside. She was a little drunk and in hindsight I think she might have had a thing for me. So she basically drags me over to where her friends were. They let me drink straight out of their bottle. It was gross. But I was so excited to finally be. Cool. Then it happened. A dude at the pong table turned around and on his face were what could best be described as glasses. Except they had 2011 over the front. The zero was an eye hole and there was a circle cut out of the first one. It was disgusting why the FCK would you continue making wearing the glasses of the year after there stopped being consecutive zeros. I haven't left my house since. When I was 20 and in college I was invited to a party by a guy I had a huge crush on. I didn't know was to be BDSM themed. I show up innocently with a cheesecake and a gift for the host. He set it aside and I walk in to see a naked man plastic wrapped to a coffee table and multiple people tickling him. Pouring hot wax over his body. And some people shaming him. All par for the course I suppose. An hour or so pass. Getting closer to midnight. People are more drunk. And ready to count down. They gag the guy on the table. Push the table aside and count down and toast as if he weren't there. People continue on celebrating and heading out. And this guy is still to the side. I go in to check on him and... Well. No one heard his plea to get up and go to the bathroom. I undid some of the plastic so he could help himself but left soon after. I get people are into some kinkish tea but this wasn't my cup of tea. A buddy whose wife left him a few months prior had a party in his house with his new girlfriend who had recently dumped her husband to be with my buddy. The dumped husband and the wife that left found each other and decided to get good and drunk and crash the party for tag team smackdown battle royale. Full on belay that ended with police. Assault plus domestic violence charges for all of them and restraining orders all around. Luckily I left about 5 minutes prior and got to skip the police interview and witness statement part of the night. While in high school we went to Union Square in SF49. Standing amongst the crowd. 
the dude in front of me turned around and puked all over me. I was covered in a stranger's drunky vomit from the shoulders down. It was literally the most horrible thing ever. Or maybe riding Bard home still drenched in stranger bath was. Needless to say, this night, as all since I got married, will be spent in my robe on the couch with my husband because I will not be f-king puked on by a stranger at a night event ever again.